Be remiss if we didn't mention, obviously, today is September 11th and it's 17 years. It's, it's so hard to believe. It's crazy it's that long. It's always one of those days that you're going to remember where you were, and you have a very unique perspective. Yeah, I was working for a CBS affiliate um, in South Florida, and so I was covering George W. Bush. He was coming in to Booker Elementary yeah. um, to talk about his education plan. You were in the classroom. I was there in the classroom, in the media room, um, you know, with the National Press Corps covering President Bush that day. And I just remember the chaos. I, yeah. It was the shortest amount of time. I've got goosebumps right now, but it was the longest day and days to come. Um, I remember the chaos. I remember the uncertainty. I remember as a journalist trying to remove yourself from that emotion, not knowing what was going What's on yeah. and, and how long it's going to and how long this was all because I remember my parents lived here yeah. and I was like, it's a military town. Oh, my gosh. I remember thinking President Bush is with us. Are we next? I mean, that yeah. was the conversation amongst journalists. Are we next? Um, but I think my takeaway, and I, and I always, on my blog, mcpragency.com, go to the blog because I write about, about it. Um, I remember the days after yeah. and how kind everybody was to one another. Yeah. And that is my takeaway year after year when yeah. I recount what happened that day. Absolutely. Same for me. Uh, it's a day that I'll always remember where I was at the Jags and it happened. And, but I will always remember afterwards. We were just as divided as a country politically on all perspectives. But for those days and weeks and months, we were one. And I want to remember that feeling. So be kind to one another and remember that feeling today. God bless neighbor. America.